This is the Joneses. I'm Gail. Hola, this is Tony. And we are in Seville, Spain. We um, left uh, the coast of Portugal after being there for about five days. And uh, we're really surprised at all the differences between Portugal and Spain, even though they're right beside of each other. Um, we were glad to see that a lot of the Portuguese people did speak English, whereas here in Spain, they primarily speak Spanish. So um, uh, communicating seems to be a little bit harder sometimes, but we've managed. Uh, what, what would you like to say about it? Uh, one thing we learned is, uh, you know, places that we've been and when you come here, uh, everything's kind of unfamiliar. It's kind of hard to get used to. Uh, you want to be uh, familiar with your surroundings so it takes a couple of minutes a couple of hours a couple of days to uh just get familiar with things uh, then we're traveling with our dog of course the first thing we look for is green space and uh once we find it then it sort of lets us know you know about where everything is gail here she's a big history buff but uh she's uh, actually making me become one there's a lot of history here in seville uh, they adore christopher columbus and uh, at one time, he was buried here. Uh, I this, do, I do uh, recommend that if you travel, the best thing to do is to get one of the hop-on, hop-off buses. Uh, they have become so, so good for us because uh, it helps us to see the city, get off when we want to. And it helps us to familiarize to. ourselves with the city so that we know, kind of gets our, kind of gets our bearings about what all we want to see and where we want to go and. It's and give really us a little bit of the history. Yeah, and don't you don't want to drive around in these cities. Even though we have a rental car right now, um, we parked it as soon as we got into the heart of the city, and we decided that the best thing to do is to um, do a lot of walking and use their method of transportation. And um, I'm, I'm amazed. Here we are in April, and um, this is the day after uh, Easter. Um, and the crowds are unbelievable. The heat is already pretty high. Um, but I just tried to get into the, uh, the large cathedral here, which is a Gothic cathedral. It's gorgeous. But uh, you have to buy tickets in advance, um, which I did not know. And I also went over to the Royal Palace. And uh, the line is probably about two hours long just to get in there right now. So. If you plan on coming to Seville, I would say make sure you buy your tickets in advance for all of these things. Um, really, the best way to do this is kind of like when you go to Disney. You get out early in the morning, you be at these places uh, when they open so that the lines are not long, the heat's not really bad. When the heat gets up in the afternoon, go back to your, um, to your bed and breakfast or your hotel or wherever you're staying. Take a nap, lay by the pool, enjoy the afternoon, and then come back out in the evening. Um, that's really the best way to do it, don't you think? Yeah, it's a smart way to do it. Uh, there's a lot of hustle and bustle in the, in, the, uh, in the city, main squares. And because of the holiday, uh, I, I believe everybody in Europe's here. So, uh, I mean, you got to remember, they travel too. So they're probably coming to their little towns around where they live. And uh, we, we've been able to, to maneuver our way around as long as you can... Uh, Today was the first day that Molly was able to get on a bus and see the city. Yeah, with us. she did the um, she did the hop on hop off bus tour with us. It was kind of cute. Be sure and check out our blog. You'll see some pictures of her doing her first tour. Uh, but you know, I wanted to just say a couple of things about Portugal. Um, once we got our bearings there, the the coastline is beautiful. Beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. We really enjoy going to the beach every day and. Um, we're not big sunbathers, but we did walk along the beach and the water was ice cold. But the Atlantic on this side of the pond is completely different than the Atlantic that we know on that side of the pond. So check that out if you're um, ever in Portugal and Spain. You're definitely close enough to run to the coast. Um, just, I really enjoyed it. And, and it was nice... Uh, Nice being able to talk some English to some people and not sp not Spanglish. Tony seems to speak Spanglish when we're in Spain, Sparacan when we were in Morocco. So I'm really interested to see what's coming up in the future about how he does his communication skills. But um, next stop, uh, going to Granada. Uh, yeah. We're just about to leave. We thought maybe we'd stop at the cafe here and 
I'd have a beer and go take some pictures of the cathedral. And uh, that's kind of like what we do. She's the big picture buff. I'm just sitting here having a good time. So uh, next He's stop, relaxing Granada. and enjoying his retirement. We're going to uh, go see what Granada has to offer, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see, you, see you in Granada, okay? Bye. Bye-bye. Ciao.